Are we up? Looks like we're up. Had some network trouble a few minutes ago there. Got it all set up and then about five minutes before the hour I get it. You are not connected to the internet message. These cables, you know, I don't trust these cables. So, you know what we're doing today? It'll be the same thing now for the next, you know, whatever, couple of weeks. I think it takes me to get this done. We've got here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yesterday, I think somebody made a message about uh, Dave will be carving a good, you know, carving boys and girls. Well, we're carving boys today, I guess. <laughs> This section of the Great Way of Print, we've simplified it a little bit. The original, talked about this yesterday, the original has eight little guys, well it's ten of them. There's some, they're roll men, and then there's some uh, passengers in the boat in the original, along with a rudder and something. We've simplified it down, there's only three little guys there. A bit out of the light here today. Let's try and get it back in the light. Is that better? Okay.
So what should I be paying attention to here? Anything? Seems like you guys are okay.
Lots of this is going to get uh, trimmed and, and touched up later, you know. You always get this situation, especially in these tiny details, these faces and hair. Things. I'm carving what I can try and see now, what I think the shape might be. But after test printing, uh, a lot of this will need adjustments. You know. These guys have little hair, these patches of hair, they have sort of sideburn, not sideburn type things, at the side of their hair, just above the ears, that's the way they had their hairstyle. And you can see there's two eyes and a frizzy, frizzy patch of hair, two eyes and a frizzy patch of hair. And it's almost impossible to see it at this scale, so we'll test print it before. Like anyone's going to notice, but no, whatever, do what you can. Get some frizziness in the hair. That's if it's going to be visible. Okay, and the faces. Don't know what's happening over here. You guys are okay. I have to ignore you. I'm sorry. Someone's asking, is the Great Wave going to replace the Momotaro set? No, I know. What we want in the party room is a whole bunch of different prints available. We want a seasonal selection. We want a selection of different works at different skill levels. So we're not really quite sure. Momotaro is not going to go away because it's very, very simple and easy for people to handle. You know? So any group that's got kids in it and stuff like that, we'll use the Momotaro. This Great Wave one. It's going to be, instead of four printings, it's going to be five. So it's not really going to be possible to use this for a print party that has, for example, five or six people on it. There's no way it would be too long. take two hours to do <coughs> So I'm not sure how we're going to play it. You know, everybody's going to want to do this, but it's going to be a bit difficult for some groups. So. Just simply, we have to get more options available in the party room because the Momotaro is wearing out, it's running down. So we're not sure what I really want. There's a bunch more seasonal stuff, you know, have a nice cherry blossom image in the spring and something with maple leaves in the fall, you know. We just have to get get it built up more. So this is just part of that process of building up more images for the print party room. You know. <laughs> they have eyesight and carvers now using this 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 these lenses and scope. You know, we don't have much documentation from the old days about what happened, but. Obviously, in the days before, there were such things as glasses and, and lenses and microscopes and stuff. It depended on each individual person. You know, some guys can carve for many, many years until their eyes give out. And some people would have had to retire fairly young. It's obviously the individuals were different. 
The saving grace on that is that in any given workshop, in a larger workshop, there were a bunch of different carvers, and there was always lots of different kinds of work, you know. And almost certainly it wasn't a one-man, one-print situation. You know, teams would work on these things. And I guess the guys with the best eyesight would do the most you know, complex, small-scale things. And the people whose eyes had started to give out would be relegated. I say relegated. They would be assigned things like color blocks, stuff like that. Just common sense, I suppose. You know, we have no documentation about this, but obviously that's the way it will work. You know? When you can't see anymore, they take you off jobs like these small faces. You know? But it was a team, team effort, you know, teams of guys did this stuff, you know. So obviously each guy would work at his own specific physical skill level, you know, his own capabilities. You know? Even now, I've talked before about, you know, when I was visiting Ito-san before he died, you know, the, the couple of times we visited him. He was crazy. He, I, you know, I knew him when he was in his 80s, 83 or 80, 45, whatever it was. And we've got video of him on his TV block, you know, and he's not wearing his glasses. He's hunched over it, carving away. Then he's trying to check what he's doing. So he sits up, puts his glasses on, looks at the block, checks it out, then takes his glasses off and starts carving again. <laughs> so, the backwards from what I would do, you know. If it wasn't for these tools, I'd be finished. I can't see anything without these, this stuff, you know. I can't read a newspaper without glasses. It's impossible, you know. You try and hold your arms out to bring it into focus, and it just gets too small, too far away. Without, uh, without glasses and lens and scope, I'd be, I'd be retired, forcibly retired. Questions in here is there? Is the Sensoji block set getting a lot of use? No, it's not, because it's too difficult for beginners, most people. It's hard, hard, hard work to print that. There's three blocks that have very wide areas on it, and it's too hard for people to print. So we're using that for people who have done the Momotaro set and who have done the cherry blossom set we have, you know.
Where do I get the blocks? We're making our blocks. We're trying to buy as nice pieces of cherry as we can from the lumber markets. We get the Sheena plywood core material. And right here upstairs, myself and Aoyama-san, we press them together. We've got a, a press thing that we've built under the stairs. And we glue it all together. We glue the cherry to the plywood core. We make our own blocks here. We're doing well with the block making. We're not doing very well with sourcing the wood because we can't find good quality cherry. Enough of it and hard enough. So we're still struggling with our block making. But yeah, we're doing, we're making it ourselves. So we just, you just can't order the stuff. You can't buy it anymore. So we're trying to make it ourselves. Okay, I think that section is done. Let's clear off some of the surrounding parts so we can see what we've got here. Hey, what's this? 830. Who's this? Who's this? Could be Aoyama-san, maybe. Try and get an early start today. Or Suga-san going upstairs? Who is this? Which one? It's oh. Suga-san. Wow! Hi-yai! Hi-yai! Number one, Ichiban. Ichiban. She's the first one here today. Suga-san, you know, Cameron-san, I've seen it, but Facebook has been up. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I'm a browser here right now. I'm a number of people who are watching this. Oh, Suga, Suga, Sugoi, Sugoi, to car no yon kobe ka haitta desu ka. Oh, 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 She's in the middle of making an Ukiyo-e Heroes print. She's doing another batch of the one we call the Hero Rests. Jed's design of, I know, the young Link playing an ocarina. It's a steady seller and we need more and more and more all the time. Comments, comments, comments. Is 
busy here this morning. It's still very early. Who's this? Must be Aoyama-san, maybe. He's working now on the roof of the, of the print party room downstairs. We received some special wood for it a couple of days ago. And he started to put the framing in place. Hopefully I can get down and help him today with this. Cameron, hey. what on earth is going on? You're getting earlier and earlier. And did your wife kick you out of bed this morning or something? <laughs> or what? No, I just I woke up earlier. So you couldn't wait to get to work. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Suicide just came in a minute ago. Like, oh, really? Oh, what's going on? Everyone's getting here. You're, I thought great. it was Aoyama san maybe or something. Whatever. <laughs> wow. Wow. I can go back out. Well. <laughs> Eight thirty-two. What was I thinking? Just kidding. <laughs> go back to bed. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Is this a better commuting time or something, or what? Um, sometimes. The cool. weather, it finally cleared up. I just happened to wake up earlier, I don't know uh, why, but really? then, um, up on the, way, so. the the rain stopped and I was like, okay, I better hurry and get on what my do you bike. Do, do, you, do you bike to the station then? Is that yeah, right? usually bike over to the station. Bike meaning bicycle, not motorbike. Right, right. yeah. Ride a bicycle in about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how strong the wind at me is going. <laughs> And what is there? A, there's a custom bike parking set up there. How does mm -hmm. it work? Yeah, yeah. There's some nice big bicycle parking lots. Is it for gift pay to get in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you do it day by day, it's a hundred yen a day. But with the the long term pass, it's like sixty five yen a day or something. Is that is that covered in your community costs? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> like I have any choice. <laughs> <laughs> If you'd rather, I could take a closer train, but then that's one transfer what? plus 340 yen a day. So I thought the bicycle sounded better. Better for my health, too. Well, I was going to say, is how, who's, who's paying for that part of it? So <laughs> keep the employees healthier. I guess that's yeah. better for us, is it? So. Yeah. Try some, listen, be careful. When I turned it the other way, when I started it down there, when I turned it back up here, both of them, the net and the camera, both went off when I turned when I oh, turned. No. The, I really don't trust these these plugs. I'm gonna. I think weird let's get some better cuts. cables because I think okay. these cables are. A, let's try it. Let's try it. What do we got to lose? The whole stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about this. You know, I think it's the actual. I maybe I bought cables that were just too cheap because the other day, see the you know blue package here, this thing. Oh yes. This is a backup drive I use for storing the Twitch right. streams. And look at the plug, how different it is. It yeah. goes in, kaboom. Yeah. The other day I came, I picked up the computer, walked away with it. That was still plugged in <laughs> and it didn't matter. It picked it up, the drive swung in the air. It and didn't, it didn't kept glitch the connection. It. Wow. Nothing. So I think it's this cable. It's just, maybe it's just this a too cheap junk. cable. Whatever. I don't know. Huh. Or <laughs> glue the cables to the laptop. That way the stream never ends. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Th Thunderbolt or Lightning? I forget. This Thunderbolt, right? Yeah. 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 yeah I so. And I don't know. Maybe it's just a badly designed concept, or, or I, I bought cables that are too cheap. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. I've just finished one zone, so I'm going to zoom out here. Let's get an overview of what's going on. Yeah. We're coming part way through here. What I've done so far is we've done one of the boats with the little guys at the bottom. We've done the mountain and some more little guys and some waves. So what I think what I'll do, I like to do this zone by zone. I know the old carvers didn't. They used one tool and covered the whole block, everything that needed to be cut with that one tool. They wouldn't clear out these spaces like this. Even guys like Ainu Ito-san, they would never, never, never do this. Huh. It's one tool, one tool. You don't fool around. Put the tool down, pick it up, put the tool down, pick it up. Put the tool you might grab up. the wrong one. What do you spend what? half your time picking up tools? You know, <laughs> no, really, they were concerned about how efficient it is. Hmm. Even if they didn't use the word efficiency, yeah. they're getting paid it's by, you know, Waste of time. Waste yeah. of time. So they do the whole block with one tool. Then when it's finished, move to the big one, clear out the open spaces, and then come back with the bullnose chisels. Okay. Me, it's my taste, whatever. I like to see where I am and what's going on. Yeah. So I just cut a little bit, change tools, clear, cut the knives, clear, cut the knives, clear. But they would never have done this. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't make any difference to finish print, but right. you know, it just whatever. Here we go. So there's my there's my area. Waves are finished. Boats finished. Boats finished. And what I'm going to do now? I'm going to cut this line underneath this wave and clear this zone because I'm a zone by zone control freak kind of guy. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> You've been asking about print party blocks and stuff and what we're doing, you know, and I, yeah. st I still don't really know how to organize it so well. The Sensoji blocks we've got there, we were chatting about it a minute ago. Yeah. It's okay, but it's still too difficult for beginners. Well, not too difficult, but it's more difficult for beginners than mm. the Momotaro blocks. Got it. 
Do you think this one will be more difficult? It is. Say? It's more difficult. It's five blocks and it's two gradations. So, yeah. But everybody's going to want to do this. Yeah. So this is going to be our challenge to be able to make the printing of this thing, quote, easy, easy enough, unquote, that, yeah. that anybody can do it. And I'm not, still not sure that that's going to happen. Mm. So this is an experiment. Yeah. But once we put this on a party bench, nobody's going to want to do anything else, you know. Yeah. Folktale, give me a break. I want to do the Great Wave. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we may end up becoming a permanent Great Wave printing facility or something, you know. Then we can start putting these in the shop when we run out. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, it's, it's like a restaurant that has a, has a famous, you know, the guy down the street, he has these mensch, these little yeah. katsu things. Mm -hmm. That's all he makes because that's what he's famous for. Yeah. It's become a one one trick pony, and I'm not so sure if this is where I want to go with this. Yeah, makes sense. So the reserve idea that I'm playing with in the back of my mind that we will start, if it turns out to be overwhelming, this yeah. is we're going to get some jet to do some Ukiyo heroes, mm -hmm. some print party versions of Ukiyo heroes, and that oh. is going to be popular. Oh so, yeah. So, so. I think that was supposed to be top secret, but I guess it's okay. Shh. Don't tell anybody. Uh, uh, have you been keeping up with the questions? No, no, no. I no? saw a couple that went by. Okay. Most of it I haven't seen, so. All right. People were talking about glasses and the microscope. Have you talked about that yeah, already today? Yeah, okay. so, so, uh, we How far back to look? <clears throat> so, I mean, in the old days, we don't, we don't really know. I know. When a guy, you know ran out when he got old his eyes ran out that was it you know yeah. kick him off and he just does color blocks or something like that you know, so. someone joked uh, everyone over 55 only carved billboards because <laughs> Bull, they're billboard so that, big yeah, they're so big I mean, whatever, <laughs> so. wait but it's no joke you know obviously bigger yeah. work you know yeah um, let's see. does Dave do printing parties with different blocks just talked about that there are a few sets oh, so the, we've got the three sets one, in there right the, now, yeah we've got uh, Sensoji. Sensoji Temple. We've got a cherry, a cherry blossom set that we sometimes use. I don't think I've even seen that one. Uh, the problem is it's, it doesn't, it's not attractive for, for showing colors, red and yellow mixing for orange and stuff like that. It's just brown and pink, brown and pink. Oh, brown, okay. that's where it goes. So it's a nice picture at the end of it, but the process is not so interesting and so much fun. So. Mm. Okay. Whereas Momotaro is mixing primary colors it's to get secondary colors. It's teaching and it's fun going yeah. along, yeah, yeah. The downside is it's not a famous picture at the end of it. Yeah. So. yeah. For someone who is a beginner, would you just recommend any kind of block just to practice techniques on? I think the answer to that is yes. Of course, yes. of course. <laughs> just, of course. Whatever's in your house. Yeah, whatever you have available. Yeah. Just start cutting and mm. see what you can make and then move up from there is usually the advice that we hear. You can see that if you go to the, the, the Twitch, then the Twitch page, the Acolyte page on Facebook, there's people using all different kinds of blocks. Somebody's mm -hmm. using beech, somebody's using sheen, somebody's using cherry, you know. <laughs> I see you posted last night about Sugasan, eh? So, Is that okay? Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> okay. It's okay. That's what, that was what we were trying to do. Yeah. She's doing such a good job. I'm so happy with the way that's working out, you know. Yeah. At the beginning, she was a bit iffy with us, but she has come on so strong. I'm really, really happy. She's happy too, you know, to be in a place where she's getting challenged and paid well and given a chance to do some jobs that she can blow through and yeah. given a chance to do some jobs that she's going like, oh, am I really going to be able to do this, yeah. you know. We gotta find the right balance of challenge and, yeah. and uh, productivity, you know. If you only give the hardest to the hardest ones it'll burn you out or you'll get tired and mm. discouraged. Frustration perhaps. all the time, yeah. of course. You know, so. Having a mix is good. And she's also gonna be able to earn some money, which means have some jobs she can bang, 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 bang. You know, yeah. So. Okay. Oh, uh Jolly Green Titan. Finally got the the third legendary loot print and the case. Yeah, sorry Ooh. about being late on the cases. Ooh, we ran out of finally? stuff for a little while. Oh, so because at yeah, the beginning yeah. of the year, we we didn't have enough cases. But say, so finally got the third print. They're just that's the schedule, isn't it? Right yeah. now, they're yeah, it's still March. So I'm glad it came. I'm glad you like it so much. It says everything's beautiful, and this is his favorite print of the series so far. Which one's the third? Is that the? I don't remember. Once it's gone, it's gone. I don't remember <laughs> anymore. Really, really, I don't remember. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I, I'm coming down. I'm coming down. Who touched the cables? Oh, nobody this time. What is the third one? 
I don't remember any. Oh, it's the guy with the axe in his head looking for. Oh the, yes, looking for healing potions. Was that number two? Oh yeah, yeah, that's number three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at this. Hunting. Once it's gone, it's just out of mind. Ship it and go on to the next one. Yeah. Um, someone's asking to zoom in a little bit. Um, Are we out? Oh, so I came out yeah. and didn't go back in. All right. Hi, hi, hi. Um, I can't really see where we're going here. Say yeah, when. That's okay, I think. Is that about it? I'm not sure. That's really close. It looks sharp and nice. The it closer I zoom, the more people can play them on my fingernails. You know, <laughs> the construction work downstairs, just everything's just smashed up right now. Plastering and then laying that floor with that tile grout, trying to get it off my fingers and smashing up my fingernails and whatever. So. I got that yesterday, some comment. I this on a YouTube video, you know. I was doing okay until I noticed his fingernails and then I could grow out and had to get out of here, you know. Oh. I'm sorry, whatever. This isn't a fashion show, it's a workbench. Yeah. Um, what is the average age range for print parties? Are these dates or are they something to occupy the kids? No, should? it's not a kids event actually. We're, we're, it's, it, it wasn't designed for children. Uh, the, the bench height and the complexity of doing the work, we found from elementary school, higher age, see for about 10 or 11 years up, people are okay. Teenagers, of course, no problem at all. But anything less than about 10, it really isn't suitable. I know. It's a question of coordination, you know. Coordination and some arm strength. You've so, got so, and even understanding what you're trying to do, you know. Yeah. So it's really not supposed to be a kiddies children's event. I'm sorry, you know. There's, there's stuff we can handle and stuff we can do. And, and no, you know. People do bring kids along and they, they get in there. And sometimes it's very, very frustrating for them, you know. It's not a, a child, it's not, what's the word, in, whatever, about tenure or not, that's all I yeah. can say. Uh -huh. If you don't have any bits of wood lying around, are there any search terms I should use for buying wood? You probably can't just use some 2 by 4 <laughs> Just broke the know. knife there, actually. You oh, see yeah. it? Tip of the knife is here. Oh, yeah. Is it a little bit of metal? Click, click, click. Yeah. Just a bit careless, digging, digging, digging too much. Let me just clean off this one slice here. It's actually really sharp now because the tip is broken. So the part that's being cutting for now is the next part that wasn't used. It's like when you break a, a piece off a cutter knife, the next part's really, really sharp. So that's yeah. what I've got right now. The next little bit's really sharp. So I'm going to do this little rough piece here that doesn't have to be delicate carving. Then I'll go back and sharpen the knife. So. People are always asking about sharpening anyway, so let's do that. Just give me a minute here. Yeah. The thing is you can't go around any corners. Once it's broken, it's now straight, so I can't go around any curves. But if there's a few semi-straight lines I can do here before I go and sharpen. And I should remember too that these people are storing this on YouTube now. So, so here we are. This is going to... Dave sitting here carving with a broken knife and it's going to be stored forever on YouTube or something. <laughs> so, <laughs> how the masters do it. Not. Not. Let's see, what country am I from? I'm from the US. I grew up in Indiana. 